His name is Eugene. He rocks dirty jeans and is often seen in a street corner scene trying to feed and clothe his seats. He used to drive an AMG and own a house by the sea. Schooled his seats privately and gave his wife a shoe boutique to keep her busy. You know how housewives can be. A lot of time that's free, a strong hunger they must feed. The husband is an absentee. Next thing you know, some freshman geek is feeding her needs. Success comes with a price, indeed. Eugene's was a life of greed, a pot-bellied bee buzzing from EE, -E, but living life honestly, until he met Shabi. You see, he had a plan to whip more cream, give his Sushabo train more steam. There's a 40 billion rand deal to protect the country in peace. Ignore the irony and focus on the cream cheese we can achieve with ease through the DP, Jay-Z. So, um, why do you need me? I and he are too friendly, Jay-Z and me. The powers that be would incorrectly see our business deal as quite shady. They could even call it corrupt, quite generally. So, I need a bee that's clean. Eugene agreed to feed his greed, a possession need. Things went well indeed. Then, an old friend appeared who ran the IDs decided to blabber her mouth on TV, using words like corrupt and naming Jay-Z, incriminating a company that belonged to Shabib. Uh, this bitch is turning up the heat. I had better call Shabib. Eugene, how's the family scene? Let us pause with the nicety, Shabib. What's the deal? Don't stress, Eugene, you're clean. There's no way you can bleed. Are you for real? I, Eugene, I've given your part of the deal a safety seal. I give you my trust, Shabir. Let there be peace. A few months deceased, followed by a couple of weeks. Shabir is in the hot seat, watched over by Heath. It is found that he is guilty. In a bid to be free, he submits plea after plea. Next on the list is Jay-Z. But his team thinks quickly. Another connection is seen. Who is this uh, Eugene? A small fish in this big sea. He too must suffer for his greed. A few million is retrieved by a schoolmate, Upikoli. Uh, look, Eugene, give me the info that I need. We will treat it secretly and keep you off the TV. If I can stay free, that is guaranteed. Now forget the greed, Eugene, and focus on your other creams. Din, don't say that word to me. It's what got me in this spiel. So let us just say, I agree. Now his wife has lost her boutique. His seeds are schooled publicly. And living space is quite crampy. But he has a strong belief and will soon be on his feet, thanks to a pension scheme with a young brown on his team. This had better be clean. Brown seems for real. Things work with ease until, again, it's the TV. Fidentia is screamed. Dad, come see, your friend is on the TV and we're watching it for free. That lady you don't feel is giving him the third degree. Do your homework before you go to sleep and don't forget to brush your teeth. The feces and the fan meet. Right then, Eugene is on his knees. Dear God, please, make this a dream. Forgive my wrong deeds. This time, I kept it clean. I even hit the church scene and gave a tenth of my cream, so please let me be. Time to hit the B-E-D, get some sleep, dream of peace, be at ease. There's a ring on his N-73. How could this be? I used to drive an AMG and own a house by the sea. I schooled my seeds privately and gave my wife a shoe boutique. Now I rock dirty jeans and I'm often seen in a street corner scene trying to feed and clothe my seeds. While my wife, she feeds her needs with some first year geek. 
My name is Eugene. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs>